Okay, so I had to recalibrate my avatar and live because it's been so long since I last uh, used VR. And so everything was all out of whack. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of show how I recalibrate my avatar. So I usually start off by doing the, um, the automatic, the calibrate T-pose option, just to see roughly where it puts everything um, when I line my trackers up with that. So I'm trying to make sure I'm standing on the, the feet, pushing the trigger, and my waist tracker is all sort of twisted. My feet are not even, uh, it looks kind of awful. I did it again just in case, um, just in case I wasn't like lined up correctly. Uh, same result, still looks awful. Well, okay. So uh, in the edit calibration option, there's an, there's an option for match arms and match height. And when the manual checkbox is unchecked, it, matches to the auto detected values otherwise it's to the avatar scaling when the manual option is checked the match arms and match height means to match it to the manual setting that you're adjusting here so i already know that i'm 1.52 meters so i'm just setting my height to that uh, i don't remember what my arm span is typically people's arm spans are about the same as their height so i put it the same just as a rough estimate to start and what I'm doing is I'm holding one of my arms out here and adjusting that um, that span to uh, match when my arms are straight. Another thing to double check is that your avatar's hands are lined up with the controller um, because it doesn't always place the hands on, on the controllers. And here I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on with my waist. It looks like it's twisted, so what I did was I rotated my controller um, to the right while holding down the trigger to untwist the waist. I wear my foot trackers on my ankles, so what I'm doing here is lining up the avatar's feet with where my trackers are on my feet. This tends to be the part that I spend the most time on because I've found that the more accurate the feet are lined up, uh, the better the overall tracking looks. So yeah, spending time on the feet calibration can really help with that floaty avatar look that sometimes happens um, where it doesn't look like your avatar is really touching the ground so much or doesn't have its weight on the feet. And this is also where you can adjust the feet angle and rotation, which is what I'm doing here. I'm trying to align the avatar's feet with how my feet are oriented in real life. Another important thing to check is the alignment of the waist and head to make sure that they're centered over the feet and not kind of drifting off to one side or the other. If you've ever had issues with your avatar having a hunched back or seen streams where the avatars are kind of uh, bent forward in a slight C shape, uh, it's usually the calibration between the waist and the head that's the culprit for that. This part's going to be kind of boring because I'm just making some micro adjustments at this point. Uh, if you want to stop at the rough calibration stage, that's perfectly fine and it's probably enough the majority of the time for like the majority of people. Uh, I really like to have my avatars as close, like move as close to my real movements as possible. So I, I spend this extra time to um, like check, like when I bend my knees slightly, does the avatar bend slightly? Um, when I straighten them out, do they straighten out to a fully straight position at the same time that I am? Um, so these, that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm checking, okay, when I'm straightening out my arm, when does my elbow actually like fully extend? Like when does it lock into the straight position? Um, and, and then I'm just kind of adjusting the hands and feet accordingly. When I'm doing kind of like relaxed standing calibration like this, uh, I like to make sure that the elbows and knees aren't fully straight on the avatar, uh, even when I straighten out my arms and legs, um, mostly because when the avatar straightens f completely out, it tends to give kind of a, a locked look. Um, I don't have a great way to describe it, but um, it's it's almost like the, the joints snap into place when they fully extend. Uh, and that's not how you look normally. Um, and so, by, give, by leaving a, a very, very, very slight 
bend to the joints um it it keeps that more natural look as you transition between bent leg and straight leg when people are walking around they're standing around naturally usually they're leaving a slight bend to their joints a little bit of cushion so what i'm trying to do is mimic that in the avatar uh, to avoid that snapping or locking look as as i move Just checking the bends here, um, checking the, the angles, you know, as I rotate my feet, does that look correct? Uh, I decided no, it doesn't look correct, so <laughs> I'm, I'm doing some adjustments there. And again, for the most part, um, it's probably not something that people would normally notice just watching videos or watching streams. Uh, I know for a few of my videos, I my feet were definitely like out of orientation and no one commented on it. It probably isn't a big deal. Uh, it's just something that I personally, it, like it personally bothers me when I notice my feet are off. Um, and so this is, this is really uh, an all for me thing. Uh, I ended up making this avatar in Vroid Studio to match my proportions more closely because I was getting frustrated with um, some of the pre-made avatars that I was trying to use not matching like if I do the heel to toe thing that I'm doing here um, they wouldn't it wouldn't match up in other avatars and it wasn't really possible for me to get it to match up so um, yeah the whole reason I created an avatar was because I wanted it to be kind of as accurate as possible so there's about a minute and 30 seconds left of the actual calibration part uh, I'm leaving the full thing in kind of uncut, unedited uh, at real time speed. So that way you guys can see what all goes into calibrating the avatar and live. And again, if you want to stop at the rough calibration and just kind of get things generally correct, that's perfectly fine too. Um, but even with all of the micro adjustments that I'm making, um, it's still under 10 minutes, which isn't too bad in my opinion. Uh, I don't have to go to this level every time I hop into VR. I usually have to do this like once, like maybe once a month or so. Uh, and then subsequent times, I'll just double check, make sure that my knees bend when they should and that my feet are at the right angle. Um, and even if they're not, it's usually not a whole big thing to make sure that everything else is lined up. It's, it's usually just like a really small rotation that's needed. So yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I was planning on making a video like this for mixed reality setup too, uh, because I have a lot more experience with that process. I even recorded all the footage, but never actually put it together. But um, yes, I hope this helps with, for the avatar users at least, and for people who use mixed reality, I'll see if I can get a video out sometime when I get the motivation to put it together. <laughs> Thanks for watching and hope you have fun.